affectionately called Ole by his staff and his students, came to Modesto in 1926. He was born in Iowa, and coincidentally, so was Thomas Downey. He graduated from Modesto High School in 1928. He lettered in four sports and was on their honor roll. In 1930, he graduated from Modesto Junior College, again lettered in four sports both years, and again on their honor roll. He also went to San Jose State. He graduated from San Jose State in 1933. From San Jose State, he went on to COP, which is now UOP in Stockton, to get his doctorate degree. He came to Modesto and became employed with Modesto City Schools in 1936 as a science teacher at Washington Elementary School. In 1938, he was the principal of that school, and he stayed in that position until 1941, until the war broke out. He joined the Navy, leaving behind a wife and family, and he was assigned to a hospital and supply ship, which went back and forth from Australia to the South Pacific. He was released from the Navy in 1945 and came back to Modesto, where he was principal of four different schools from 1945 to 1951. In 1951, Modesto opened its second high school, Downey High School. Milford was selected to be the first principal of Downey High School, a position he held until 1971 when he retired. He was their first principal and he was there for 20 years. Since he retired the last 40 years, Downey has had nine principals. And I don't think anyone will ever match Milford with the length of time at one school. His fingerprints are all over Downey High School. He set up a complex form of student government. He helped write their songs. He recruited the best of teachers, including Chuck Hughes. And he told me, that his, we, had a, we dedicated the atrium to him at Downey High School. I, I think it was 19, let me look at the, uh, I've got it written down. 1996, well, 2006, okay. He wore the same suit he wore when Downey opened <laughs> at, at the dedication, it was amazing. And I asked him, I said, look, the time that you were principal, how did you keep track of all your students and to know what was going on? He said, I'll tell you what I did. At least one day each week, I would have lunch and play cards with the custodians in their office. And I got more information out of these guys because they, they knew what was going on and I didn't know what was going on. This is an honor that is long overdue. Milford Olson is... For those who knew him, they loved him. The students revere him so much. And tonight to accept the honor is his son, William Olson, and his granddaughter, Sherry Olson Lawrence. Uh, this is really rough for me. I don't know how to speak in public. But anyway, I want to thank the committee and Steve. You did a great job. My father's been gone for three years. And there's not a day go by I don't miss him. And I know he touched so many people's lives. So I want to thank this this opportunity to say thank to all of them. Yeah. Thank you.